What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and in light of today's new update, iOS 8.1.3, I wanted to make a video showing you guys how to downgrade from iOS 8.1.3 to 8.1.2 and then jailbreak untethered using either Taiji or the PP jailbreak for Mac. Now, at the moment of making this video, this is still working. In the future, Apple will close the iOS 8.1.2 jailbreak downgrade thing, so you guys will no longer be able to do this. So therefore, this is not a forever video. It's very time sensitive. So in the future, this may not work for you. And the only way to tell is when I update it in my article. So this is gonna show you guys how to downgrade on any device from the iPhones to the iPads to the iPod touches, all from 8.1.3 to 8.1.2. So today, iOS 8.1.3 was released and with this update Apple did bring one primary fix and that's to reduce the amount of storage that iOS 8 takes up on your device. Now that's the one good thing I could say about 8.1.3 is that it reduces the amount of memory it takes up so you'll have more free memory for your stuff but unfortunately 8.1.3 cannot be jailbroken using Taiji or the PP jailbreak tool. So the next major jailbreak is going to be out on 8.2 but that's going to come out all the way in March April so who wants to wait that long for a jailbreak. Whether or not you update it on accident or you got a device with 8.1.3, this video is going to be the one that's going to show you how to downgrade and then jailbreak on 8.1.2. All right, so over on my desktop, I do have two things. Now, you guys will need to download both the firmware file, which is in IPSW format, as well as a jailbreak, depending, of course, on which OS you're running on your computer. For Macs, it's going to be the PP jailbreak. For Windows computers, it's going to be Tai G. Now, I do have separate tutorials on this, but I thought I'd make an altogether inclusive video on how to downgrade and jailbreak just to simplify the process for you guys. Anyways, so I do have this guy. This is what we need first is your 8.1.2 firmware file. Now, all links can be found down below in the description or just click literally right here. It'll take you there or the link in the description. Anyways, on the back of your device, you're going to have a model number right there. And depending on that model number, you guys will have to download a specific IPSW firmware file. So I have an iPhone 5S CDMA. It's going to have a different firmware than a GSM version. Anyways, with that downloaded, let's go ahead and head over to iTunes. All right, so depending on on which OS you have, you're going to have to do this a little bit differently. On a Windows computer, you're going to hold shift on the keyboard and then left click check for update. On a Mac computer, you're going to hold option and left click check for update. Okay, so uh, actually on my desktop, I'm actually doing this on my iPhone 5. I was having a problem with my 5S, but Anyways, it's still on 8.1.3, so no worries there. But anyways, in here, select your 8.1.2 firmware for your device. Make sure you did do that compatibility thing on the back so that the model number does match up with the firmware you are trying to downgrade to. Now, you guys can do check for update, and it will preserve all of your data. However, you still want to back everything up. Make sure to back up to your computer in iTunes before proceeding. So back it up and then. Now this should preserve all of your data. If not, you can always restore your device on a clean slate on 8.1.2, but I prefer to preserve all the data. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold option, check for update, and then select that 8.1.2 firmware for my iPhone 5 and select update. So this is gonna begin about a five to 15 minute process where your device will go ahead and shut down and restart several times. So just set it aside, don't touch it. You don't wanna interfere with this process at all. Now this is completely safe. And once we're done, we're gonna be on 8.1.2 and then we're gonna jailbreak on 8.1.2 on my Mac using a PP jailbreak. Now I just wanna say, if you guys are having any sort of issues, try this on another computer. You know, that's the number one thing that tends to work for me is for some reason, some computers just have issues. They don't want to do this no matter how correct your setup is. They will never allow you to do it. So try it on another computer. You know, if you're on Mac, switch to Windows, vice versa, another computer. Usually that does work. And if not, make sure you do have the correct firmware downloaded. Sometimes you'll get errors because you're trying to downgrade to the wrong firmware. Make sure it's 8.1.2 and it's for the correct device. Now, otherwise, restart your iPhone and restart the computer. That usually does help clear up some issues too. And anyways, if you guys are new to jailbreaking, I mean, if you're doing this and you want to jailbreak for the first time, or maybe even if you're a veteran, there's many compelling reasons to jailbreak. If you guys want to check out that video, just click right there on that little video right there. It'll take you to my top 25 reasons to jailbreak iOS 8. And there's a lot of good things in there. I mean, jailbreaking is stereotypically like people think it slows down your device, makes it laggy. And that's so not true. You know, 
with a correct setup, you can have a beautiful device running, you know, awesome tweaks without any sort of performance hindrance. Now, as far as 8.1.3 goes, I haven't noticed too much of a speed difference. However, I think there is one on, you know, lower end devices like the iPhone 5 and 4S. It seems like it could be a little bit snappier and I'm actually going to put that to the test tomorrow, make a new video comparing the two firmwares, 8.1.2 to 8.1.3. But other than that, you know, it does add a little bit of system memory, which is always nice. And I do hope Apple, you know, continues that in iOS 9 makes the file size a little bit smaller. So anyways, guys, this is going to take about five to 10 minutes more. And once this is done, I will be right back. All right. And it looks like my device is booting up after the update process. And I'm getting this prompt right here, which is good news. It's already asking me to upgrade to 8.1.3, which I will not be doing. Now, I honestly think that this is going to exist for about one to two weeks. Apple has been kind of slack on closing that downgrade period lately. So I was 8.1.3 to 8.1.2 downgrade is going to be possible for a little while. Anyway, so let's go ahead and see that I am on the latest firmware. And looks like 8.1.2, I have successfully downgraded. I mean, that's great news. You've got a second chance and you're on a jailbreakable firmware. Now, 8.1.2 is going to be the last jailbreakable firmware for a while. So if you are on that firmware right now, consider yourself lucky. Okay, so with my device plugged in, let's go ahead and set it up for a jailbreak. Now, first thing is put it into airplane mode. This does help with the success of the jailbreak. Also go into iCloud. If you're signed into iCloud, sign out of it, remove find my iPhone. You know, this does interfere with a jailbreak. And if you guys have any sort of password, remove that from the you know touch ID and passcode settings. So make sure to get rid of that the iCloud and put your device into airplane mode. Now, if you have a lot of data on it, try and clear up the data. It does also help with the success. Anyways, let's go ahead and head over to my desktop. So once again, I wanna make sure you guys do have the PP jailbreak downloaded or TIG and you can do that here. So just click on that link. It'll take you to the downloads. Anyways, on a Mac computer, right click on it and select open. If you're on Windows, right click and select run as administrator. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that. Otherwise, it won't let you open if you don't do that. Okay, so we get this cool looking blue prompt with my device plugged in. It'll just have this little white outline. Go ahead and select it. So this is pretty much telling you guys to go ahead and put your device into airplane mode, touch ID, you know, remove that and sign out of iCloud. We already went over that. So click on this guy and the jailbreak process does begin. So this is your progress bar. Now the PP jailbreak is fairly stable. If you're using it on Mac, there's nothing to worry about. It's already been proven that it doesn't install any sort of spyware or malware. And if you're using Taiji, you know, you have nothing to worry about. That's a super fast jailbreak. Anyways, this is gonna take a few minutes and I just kinda of wanna stay with you guys. Uh, make sure you're doing everything correctly. Now, once you guys are jailbroken, I have a ton of stuff on my channel for jailbreaks. I mean, you're pretty much gonna to wanna to customize your device to your liking, install things that you couldn't before, such as system functions, free tethering. There's so much to do. Check out my channel, guys. I have a ton of videos on that. And there you go, my device is restarting right now. So once that has completed, I will be right back. And there you go, there is Cydia. So let's go ahead and open up Cydia. It's gonna take about five minutes to uh, fully set up and Wi-Fi doesn't matter right now, but after you're gonna need a Wi-Fi in order to download all the content inside of it. So give it about five minutes and it will set up. All right, so your device will once again respring. And finally here, we should have a working Cydia. All right, and let's go ahead and open that guy up. So uh, yes, you do need Wi-Fi to go ahead and set it up. And uh, there we go. So it's gonna take a minute. Now it's not gonna have anything on it until you go into here and click refresh. This is gonna download all of the packages, you know, everything you're gonna be installing. So make sure to do this. And if you guys have any sort of updates inside of Cydia, update right away to them. But otherwise you guys are fully jailbroken on iOS 8.1.2. Guard this firmware with your life. I mean, the only way a jailbroken device can update is from iTunes. So when you're syncing with iTunes, make sure to not accidentally click update and uh, don't let anyone else do it and this is what I'm talking about so go ahead and select this and select upgrade you want to make sure you're running all the latest updates so make sure to guard this firmware guys do not update this is going to be the last jailbreakable firmware for a while 
And if you're thinking what to do with your jailbroken device now that it's jailbroken, you know, there's a ton of videos on my channel. Check out some of these videos. There's so much content, so much things you can do. You can not only make the battery life better on your device, you can speed it up. Uh, there's limitless possibilities, so much stuff. And last of all, I just want to mention, if you guys are having any sort of issues, just click down below in the description on the article. There will be a full troubleshooting guide there. So everything you need will be down there. You know, check out some of my other videos. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. And stay tuned for that iOS 8.2 update and iOS 8.2 jailbreak. And I'm always posting new tweak videos, so be sure to check those out as well. Anyways, enjoy the jailbreak, guys. I do hope I helped you guys downgrade from 8.1.3 to 8.1.2 and finally jailbreak. So have a great day. Peace.